3.30 in the morning. It's nuts. So look at this. The Shunammite story is 2 Kings chapter 4, verses 8 through 37. That is the story. That is the typology that matches up with Isaac. It is the rapture. So if you can't get there in your brain, then, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Look at this. And I don't have the glasses, so I got to do this. Okay. Elisha sees the Shunammite woman coming, right? He says, maybe I can read it like this. Run now, I pray you to meet her, talking to Gehazi. And he says to her, is it well with you? Is it well with your husband? Is it well with your child? And she answered, it is well. And when she came to the man of God to the hill, she caught him by the feet. But Gehazi came near to thrust her away. He's going to take her and thrust her away. The man of God said, let her alone, for her soul is vexed within her, and the Lord has hidden it from me and has not told me. I just got this five minutes ago. The Lord has hidden the rapture from us. Elisha the prophet, for him to say that in this story means he's in communion with the Lord. Okay, so he knows things. He's, he's the prophet of Israel, a double portion of power from Elijah, who's the greatest prophet in Israel. Elisha has a double portion. He's in tune with God. So when, the, when she came up and grabbed him by the ankle, desperate, her soul is vexed. Elisha said, leave her alone. Can't you see she's in distress? Something's going on. And the Lord has hid this from me. This is gold. The Lord has hid this from me. So normally he's in tune. So the typology is the Lord has hid the rapture from us. But look what happens. Listen, I named my revelations Daniel 12, 4, running to and fro. Knowledge would be increased. I just named it that. Thought it was cool, it works, it makes sense. Look at this. I got I gotta skip ahead a little. No, I, I ain't gonna skip. For her soul is vexed within her, and the Lord has hidden it from me and has not told me. Then she said, Did I desire a son of my Lord? Did I not say, Do not deceive me? <laughs> She's distressed. She's lost her son. She finally wasn't barren anymore, had a son. She's distressed. So Elisha gives Gehazi orders, go lay my staff on his face. I'll skip that part. He says, go. And the mother of the child said, as the Lord lives, as your soul lives, I will not leave you. And he arose and followed her. She's saying, you're coming back. You're doing this. You're bringing that son back. I told you, don't promise me if you can't deliver. The Lord hid it from Elisha. This is the rapture hidden. So Gehazi went ahead and look at this. And when Elisha was coming to the house, behold, the child was dead and he laid upon his bed and he went in therefore and shut the door upon them too. He shut the door on the boy. He shut the door on the mother and Gehazi and he prayed to the Lord. And he went up and lay upon the child, put his mouth on his mouth, his eyes on his eyes, his hands upon his hands, and stretched himself upon the child. And the flesh of the child waxed warm. Didn't come to life yet, but it waxed warm. Look at this. Here it is. Then he returned and walked in the house to and fro and went up and stretched himself upon him, and the child sneezed seven times, and the child opened his eyes. I'm walking around my house this morning. I'm pacing. Lord, how am I going to put all this information you gave me together? I want it to flow perfectly. I stress about this. I'm not actually good at it. The family last night on my live were saying, hey, make an outline, do this, do that. All good stuff, but I'm not that good at it. It's a it's a stress to me. I love it, but it's real stress. So I'm begging God to let me put this together. I'm literally walking to and fro in my house. Again, five minutes ago, now 10 minutes ago. It was hidden from Elisha until he walked to and fro through the word, praying to God 
and this is how the rapture, this rapture typology was found by going to and fro through his word. That's the tiniest of nuggets of what the Lord gave me fully last night. So praise God. This is all in here for a reason. Why does Elisha say the Lord has hidden this from me? It makes no sense. It makes no sense on the surface. Elisha doesn't have to say that. All he has to say is, oh, your son died? Well, I'll inquire of the Lord. What happened? Uh, let's go. Let's see if I can bring him back to life. My uh, mentor, Elijah, raised the widow's son. Maybe I can do the same. A anything. He could have said anything. He said, the Lord has hidden this from me. He laid on the boy, didn't come back to life, went through the house to and fro. And then the boy sneezed seven times and came back to life. It is all rapture typology. I hope that blessed you. Saturday night, 8 o'clock Eastern. I'm going to try to go for four hours. Get this done. Pray for me. I got to put this all together. I want it to be right. I want to lift up the name of God. Lift up his word. Why me? Forget me. I, I don't know. 